In this problem, we're told a rescue helicopter is hovering over a person whose boat has sunk. One of the rescuers throws a life preserver straight down to the victim with an initial velocity of 1.4 meters per second and observes that it takes 1.8 seconds to reach the water. A. List the knowns in this problem. And B. How high above the water was the preserver released? Right, so the first thing you always want to do for kinematic problems like these is draw what's going on. Right, so we have this helicopter. Right, they're going to be uh, over this water right, with this drowning person. And essentially, uh, they're going to be throwing this uh, life preserver right straight down with an initial velocity of 1.4 meters per second all right so you're going to throw it down with this velocity and then it's going to take 1.8 seconds for them to reach the person in the water all right so essentially from it to go to the helicopter to the boat all right so that's basically what's going on and so let's go ahead and just start with a because a basically wants us to write down the givens so what do we know in a so a wants us to list the knowns in the problem so what is our given essentially so for our given what information do we know so we know the initial velocity Right, the initial velocity of uh, our life preserver right, is going to be 1.4 meters per second. But I'm going to say it's negative, and the reason that is is because it's going downwards. So generally when you do uh, two-dimensional kinematic problems like this, or where you have, or not even two-dimensional, just one-dimensional, uh, generally when you go downwards, you say negative, and upwards is positive. So since it's going downwards with a velocity, right, I'm going to say it's negative 1.4. So the initial velocity is negative 1.4 uh, meters per second. right? We're also given the time, right? The time this is going to take, 1.8 seconds, right? So we're given that. That doesn't need direction, right? Because it's just time. And then we're also not given, but it's just assumed, right? That this is on Earth, which means there's going to be an acceleration, which is minus 9.8 uh, meters per second squared. The 9.8 is just uh, gravity, right? That's just the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. And then it's negative, just like this one is going down, right? The acceleration is pulling it down. So down is negative, so that's why it's negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Right, so that's basically all the givens, your, uh, right, all the stuff that you give us, right, the knowns. So that's basically that. But I'm also going to add on uh, delta y, right? So we don't know delta y, but that's just what they want us to find, right? Because in B, they want us to find how high above the water was it released, right? Meaning, if we can find the change in the y, that's going to give us uh, the distance it travels, right? So basically, how high where it was released, right? So if we can find the delta y, it's basically going to give us the height. So I'm just going to say it equals question mark because that's what we're solving for. So now that we have three. Uh, kinematic variables and we just want to solve for one all we got to do is use one of the kinematic equations to solve so notice we have v sub zero we have t and a and the equation i think we should use is uh, the third one right because notice we have v sub zero we have t and we have a so those are the only variables and then we can solve for delta y right it says delta x but basically delta x and delta y are uh right it doesn't make a difference you can just plug whatever you want in so it's just delta y equals v sub zero times t plus one half a t squared so all we got to do now is just plug in. So V sub 0 is minus 1.4 times T, which is 1.8, plus 1 half times the acceleration, which is minus 9.8, times T squared, so 1.8 squared. So now what you want to do is just plug this in. So minus 1.4 times 1.8 plus 0.5 times minus 9.8 times 1.8 squared. And when you do this, you're going to get the change in Y is negative 18.396, which is basically negative 18.4. And so what you should notice what this is, it's the change in y. So it's not actually the height, right? Because a distance can't be negative. But it's basically saying we go from this, right? From our starting position to the final position, we go down uh, 18.4 uh, meters, right? We go 18.4 meters downwards. That's what the negative sign indicates. So basically, the height of it, if we know it changes, right? 18.4 meters, it's just going to be 18.4 meters tall. So how high above the water was the preserver released? Uh, it's going to be 18.4 meters. So 18.4 meters, that's going to be your answer to uh, B, right? And then A was just the givens. So yeah, these are going to be your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.